Now for that fifth round from Aziz. There's knockdown. Wow. Oh. Just to, to undertake, isn't it? And, um, oh, right hand. On the head it was a kind of delay. Mistakes you can't afford to make. This is the things you can capitalise on. Fielding tucking up on the ropes there. So there's blood coming from the left eye there of Rocky Fielding. It looks like it's on the corner, a little cut, and it's mostly running clear again, just with his back to them, gives himself a touch of room as, as he's backed up and look to try and find that one. A step out in distance, and it's like a short straight jab, just snapping the head back of Rocky. He's landed several in this round. Oh, he's not, he's not, you know, overloading up on them. He's just threading them through, but they're just snapping the head, book, head up and they're, you know, they're not hurting Rocky, but they're just, they're just chipping away, just... I hope you're scoring at 5-0 to Aziz so far, and that's the only way you can score it, Aziz. Another round like this, and maybe that could be the end of it. Final few seconds, and Fielding goes down to a knee right... An attritional pressure fighter, Aziz, and he really doesn't waste much. That's the impressive thing about him. Everything he throws hits something. The same as the previous seven, and I think... That's the point that he's making, really. It's just a slow, steady beating, isn't it? You know, and he's, uh, he's, he's lost every round. There's been a knockdown. He's getting hit with more and more clean shots. Nigel Travis has got the towel, and in comes the towel. The referee steps in and waves the fight over. Better fighters, bigger punchers. Uh, yeah. Previously, it is his career. Test for Louis Edmonds at this stage. Um, only the fifth fight, and he's fighting a guy. We'll monitor that as this one goes along. Well, it can be criticised, but if, if someone can't look at the go a step further against a much more experienced guy like like Luke Blackledge. Oh, he's got through with a, a couple. Of... He will be getting down to, to super. He got a weight championship weight, then they get plenty of time to do it, don't they? Experience for a full fight, novice to to undertake, isn't it? And, um, oh, right hand. The it was a kind of delayed reaction, I think. And seeing what Billy does, taking everything in. Tremendous experience. Oh, body shot goes in there as well that, it, that he has. Well, another lovely body shot from him. So I suppose you are if you're Blackledge hoping that. It... Oh, again. Blackledge doesn't seem to like those. And again. Oh, that right hand. And again, those shots. Those are the likes of Carl Froch and Tony Bellew as well. Oh, a couple of sharp shot in the mirrors now. Find the, the right sort of template, the right sort of tactics. He's clipped there with the, is the case, then he'll be wanting to. Madison. Really sharp. Isn't he? As Spence was talking, uh, the a corner have just waved it off, and Blackledge has been. He's Ali Guimon, Dan Aziz. Oh, he's oh, perdu. Oh, il était splendide. Je crois qu'il travaille un peu plus en série. Et notamment, il a la longe pour lui en plus avec ce bras arrière. Oh Allez, Thomas, oui, ça à de le faire. Allez, vas-y. Ah, il est en train de. C'est dommage. Le contre terrible. They had Sterling down early on in the second round of their 10 rounder uh, last summer. Short right counter, not for the first time. From Aziz, there's it. It is. Be careful with that, though, isn't he? So early to be warned. Good body bit. shot from Aziz there. Lovely left hook. Now for that fifth round from Aziz. There's knockdown. Wow, I thought he was just off balance. Appointment or frustration at the call. We'll get a chance to see that in between rounds, perhaps. But that's up to dock a point there. But I think that was sensible refereeing, despite the previous sort of final having her back in his life. That added motivation, I think, coming into this one. Just needs to shift the feet as he's when he, he, he had Sterling there. And as a fan or a, a neutral observer. Shot. I think the towel is the towel coming. I think the towel's coming. 
It has, a toe's come in. And whether that... Open it. The right hand over the top, that's a shot.
Shorts sort of on the gloves, fitted into the performances, but uh, he necessarily wins that battle with, with Ricky Summers. It's going to be a Summers then. And then before he could get back out of range, hands down, he was clipped by a, a reality. And maybe willpower are going to come into it down the stretch. Yeah, I think that's inevitable, but I think Ricky Summers is now growing in confidence every round that goes by. I do wonder though, it's been a good pace. That chance to, to counter him with the right hand, and again there is the the physicality of the fight and, and maybe weariness that has, has fed into that because through the middle rounds five and six, Gary it looked like he had the template, it looked like he had the space and the distance sussed and sorted. But credit Aziz who lands a, a huge left hook and he's coming on strong. Oh. Holds on to his title, but it was that kind of contest to score. It was a compelling fight. At experience to Ghanaian in a six-round light heavyweight affair in what promises to be an exciting night of undercard action headlined by a World Boxing Association showdown between Fadili Majiha and unbeaten champion Neslan Machado for the vacant international super bantamweight title. Danazis, a three-time South of England champion, beat Adam Jones on points in his last fight in September and is undefeated in five fights.